Gaming FLX Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. That's I'm Mike. Yep. Yep. What are we drinking? <laughs> I stole it from you, baby. Um, oh. Yeah. So this beer is from Lunkenheimer Craft Hello. Brewing Company, and uh, they are out to Weedsport, New, New, York. New York. I forgot. It's been such a long time we had. I know, it's been a little while. We did what? Uh, S'mores S- Session Stout or yeah, something like that? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, anyways. Anyway. This is their peanut butter habanero brown ale. Oh, what? My. All right. Okay, so I, I got this as, uh, I got this from Branching Out Bottle Shop. Ooh, Branching so Out. So I grabbed right. it, and I didn't even notice. So the date is 52924. <laughs> She's a little old. So That's okay. Six, seven, eight... We're three months out. Ah, it should be all right. So, yeah. Uh, 4.9 ABV. And, uh, yeah. It says, Lunkenheimer Craft Brewing Company is family-owned. Small batch brewery. Historic Erie Canal Village in Wheatsport. Yada, yada, yada. Let's just pour the beer. <laughs> let's, get, let's get into it. Uh, I'm, I'm just thirsty. I, I don't want to waste a drink. A lot of things been happening today. Just need to get into it. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, so that is a very pretty brown ale. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, and doo-doo. Uh, <laughs> really melted Tootsie Roll kind of brown, little sliver of... Oh, I love that disruptor, melted Tootsie Roll. Yeah, uh, swirls up a really nice... Oh, I'm getting lofts already. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, a little tan khaki hat on it. Kind of thick bubbles, some are nice to take back. It looks good. <laughs> yeah, it's good with. Oh, man. That peanut butter is just like you just scooped it out and slopped it in there. Kind of fruity on that, and I wonder, wonder if that's from the habanero. Ooh, it might be. Because, like, that's, a lot of people just get the heat from those peppers, but they can be awfully fruity, like a scotch bonnet. And stuff oh, yeah, like that. I mean, that, that's why I think I love mango habanero so much, because the mango just enhances yeah. the fruity notes in the habanero. Mm. And this is, it's all peanut butter with just a hint of, like, some spice or yeah. pepper on the back. Like, something's coming. Yeah, there's, like, a kind of deep kind of mal- malted chocolate, too, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's starting to come out. Like, I'm getting start, kind of a, a Reese's peanut butter cup. It smells good. Let's <laughs> dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. There's those fruit notes. Oh, oh my God. It's like, so fruity, bro. That just, like, exploded. Like, you would think your mouth is going to be coated with, like, this toast and like peanut butter, but not at all. Oh uh, wow! Four point nine ABV. It is definitely a thin light beer. Yep. Um, yep. Which is fine. It's appropriate I was for the ABV. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's that pepper. It's coming oh. up. It, it it sneaks up through like the fruitiness is there, and then you get like a little a little bark. Mm-hmm. You know, just. A little just bark from that little doggy in the background. Pictured right there. You're on a dog kick today, I think. I am on a dog kick. Um, yeah, it, it is. Like, I'm going in, breathing with my mouth open. I'm getting all the nice peanut butter, uh, the brown bread. Um, I'm getting some nice, like, raisin kind of fruit notes to it. On the back end, that pepper is just kicking in. It, it's so it's not, it's not, like, all up in your face. Oh, no. It's just, like, this constant kind of just little pleasant... Uh, tingling, letting you know, hey, there's some pepper in here. Man, it's crazy. It almost comes off a little jammy in a way. Absolutely. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's, and the fruits are kind of changing and morphing. And I'm getting like a little green grape. I almost got a little lime in there for whatever reason. Oh, wow. um, so the only, the only thing like for me, I'd like this beer to be just a little bit less carbed. It, it, it's very carbonated and crisp. Whereas me personally, I prefer my brown ales to be a little sultry, a little mm-hmm. smooth. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, you're right there with me. I was going to say the carbonation's a little much. Yeah. Um, again, like the 
so I if I see peanut butter, right, I'm expecting a little bit of that creaminess of peanut butter, mm -hmm. like in my mind, and I just wish this had a little, just a touch of creaminess to it. Yeah. Uh, the flavor's there, oh, and yeah. I appreciate it, and again, it sure, it, it's a very light beer. Yeah. But it's it's okay. It's delicious. This is really good. Yeah, aside from the, the carbonation, I wish this was a little, a little smoother, a little flatter, if you will. It's delicious. So, on the back end, as I'm sitting here drinking it, the pepper is getting more pronounced. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was going to finish a little bit drier than it does, which I, I'm not mad about. Yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't, though. It, it like... It, it it's this is a weird beer. It feels like it should just dry you out and you're left with pepper, but I still have a really nice like fruity, juicy notes on my tongue. Yeah, it's good. It it, it is odd. It's weird, mm -hmm. but it works. But it works. Yeah, the, this beer works. Yeah. Uh, what do you rate it? Whew, boy, I'm gonna give it a give it a three point nine five. So I've had this beer years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, a coworker had brought in a crowler of it and said, "Hey, try this." Oh, yeah, okay. But I can't remember what it, like this was a long. I think it was like Lunkenheimer first opened or something, or okay. it, the first time they made this beer. Ooh, fruit flies! They they like they it. want they want the beer. They're gonna dive in, get the hot pepper, and be like, "No, the mistakes <laughs> were made." Um, I'll give it a. <clears throat> I give it a three eight. All right. I think this would be an easy four out of five. Again, if that Christmas was toned down just a little bit. Oh yeah. Flavors there though. Yeah. I mean it's if you like peanut butter chocolate uh in like either a porter stout brown ale, that sort of thing, that hits. If you like pepper in a beer, I think that hits perfectly too. It was a really good combination. Hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. all. Right. Sorry I got to Lunkenheimer. <sighs> Haven't been out there yet. Have you? No. Yeah. We keep talking about it, but <laughs> we never follow through with anything. Yeah, pretty much. All right, gang. Uh, down <sighs> the description below, all the links. Hit us up. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Deuces. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.